Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. I want to still point out why uh, patterns in not only an individual stock or trading entity, but in the market uh, indexes provide an immense amount of information that allow you get to get a lack or get accurate uh, trend analysis. As we can see, there's been a buildup of investor sentiment in the Dow. And we know on the fry pan bottom, which is this big rounding bottom, that as long as we don't close below the T-line, the eight exponential moving average, we're still in an uptrend. Now, the Dow sold off today. That was probably the effect of Goldman Sachs missing their earnings dramatically. However, there's a very simple trend analysis concept that if one index is trading lower, and another index is trading higher, that's a pretty good indication there it's not been a change of investor sentiment, just shifting of funds. So the fact that the NASDAQ actually traded higher today is still in this fry pan bottom was a good indication there wasn't any major change of investor sentiment. Basically, that boils down to that you want to concentrate on identifying which signals and patterns are producing good results. Our recommendation last week on AK, I'm sorry, ALKS was based upon this best friend breakout. Consolidated, consolidated, and we expect it to move in this direction, which as you can see, even on a day when the market was off 375 points, the Dow, or I'm sorry, this one was still trading higher, all from the uh, ramifications of this fry pan bottom best friend breakout. So it's not a difficult process to analyze a pattern and then knowing what the nature of each individual candlestick signal represents. So here's our doji sandwich, breakout above the uh, T-line. We still recommended buying some spreads on TSM because not only do you have a fry pan bottom that broke out through the the uh, 200 last week, but it was still continuing higher even with the market sell-off. So this is not rocket science, as I always illustrate. This is basically using the visual analysis of what the pattern setup is and what signals are confirming it. So if you see a J-hook pattern with a trend kicker signal breaking out through this level, our recommendation on VIST is still in progress because we know that wave one, wave two, wave three is going to be about the same magnitude as wave one. Or a classic pattern, which is nothing more than identifying a fry pan bottom breakout, creating a very strong price move, consolidation. And we recommended this one today because if it opened positive, we have a J-hook pattern also producing the same magnitude move from wave one into wave three. <clears throat> so recognizing the signals and patterns give you a much accurate trend analysis uh, indication that if you see a strong sell signal like a bearish best friend, the probabilities are pretty strong you're in a downtrend. And not only do the signals and patterns tell you when it's time to buy, but as we saw in Bidu today, one of your strongest sell signals is a bearish kicker signal. That told us we need to close out this position and go find something better. So strong signals and patterns, like a cradle pattern, which is one of, of the uh, eight candlestick uh, uh, patterns, and they gapped it up to come out of this pattern, tells us, we want to stay long until we see a sell signal and a close back below the T-line. Again, the whole basis of analyzing what's going on in a price trend is knowing what the Japanese rice traders have illustrated to us for 400 years of what signals and patterns tell us there's a strong or strong bullish or bearish uh, trend in that price move. So join us. We are going to be doing a market timing in combination with Candlestick Forum uh, training on January 21st. 
This is a full day training taking the information that is built into candlestick signals and patterns, applying them to the overall market trend, and then enhancing your returns by identifying which stocks are acting the strongest in that current market trend. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.